week. President Biden signed a $1.5 trillion spending package, and according to the city, $2 million of that federal money will go toward this project to replace the structure with mixed-use affordable housing. The city says these funds will produce permanent affordable housing and alleviate the homelessness crisis in the area. Now, these are images sent to KTLA from Santa Monica businessman and property owner John Alley, who's part of the Santa Monica Bayside Owners Association, a group that is suing the city over this project. He says affordable housing is necessary, but this structure is not the best place for it and will hurt business owners. The problem is affordability, and we need a center at night for the homeless that are on the promenade. Some of them are dying, some of them are laying, sleeping, urinating, having sex. Uh, we need to be able to have the police be able to move them to a place. And we've identified sites that are ready to go tomorrow. The parking serves the merchants. And we're losing uh, two tenants a month on the promenade. They're not giving up on retail. They're giving up on Santa Monica because people can't park. Rodney Views and Reviews. Come on now. Let's like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.